It is a beautiful day in the city of Guadalajara, New Mexico, where piñatas are born. On this majestic day, Pinto the Piñata is born and awaits to be approved. I'm Joe O'Kane, and we're here at Piñata Corps, where I am the Commissioner of Piñatas. I inspect piñatas. I've been doing this for about 15 years now. It's a family business. Great American company. Now, that right there has probably been one of the finest piñatas that come through my establishment. Giving even the liberty of even seeing that piñata is just an honor to me. It's right here in my heart to be a great American. Once it is approved, piñatas are shipped off to various stores in the country where during this stay, they wait to reach maturity. When the time comes, the grown male is let loose in its natural habitat, the store floor. Piñatas spend most of their lives sitting and waiting. Oftentimes, a piñata's beauty deteriorates as it grows old. Some piñatas resentful against Father Time attempt to redeem their youthful beauty. Natural selection does take its course though. When a potential suitor becomes present, piñatas often peacock to best highlight their features so they may be chosen. We can observe here the marvelous traits one would find highly desirable, the bright vibrant colors to show the elegance, how it postures itself with alpha male confidence, absolutely fascinating. Some have even evolved to use tactics in wooing potential suitors such as flirtation. What amazing technique. Most piñatas never reach this moment in their lifetime, and when they do, they are often carried out in a bag. This piñata though, this piñata is special. The piñata is both fearful and amazed as it migrates to its new habitat, unaware of what dangers lurk in the unknown. As the trunk opens, so does a new chapter on Pinto the Piñata's life. This is where it will spend the remainder of his life. Once he has settled into his new territory, he scans the planes of the table when he spots her sitting all alone. It's love at first sight. But as quickly as he notices her beauty, she is taken away by Piñata's natural predator, Little Kids. He is forced to watch helplessly. Jealousy fills his heart, rage in his eyes. I'm gonna rip you a new one. Perhaps I'd like to rephrase that. Honey, it's time to fill the piñatas. They are filled with joy as they prepare themselves for their first intimate encounter. She willingly accepts the sweets that pour into her. Look at him standing there strong and proud, reaffirming his masculinity. <laughs> Left alone, they revel in the ecstasy. but it is short-lived as finality approaches. Not many Pinatas know what the end of their lives entail. She is ripped from his arms to hang. The natural predators surround their prey. The leader of the pack, armed, ready to attack. Treat this as some sick and twisted game. Predators move in. Shock and horror fill Pinto the Pinata's face. The mob cheers on their leader, the brutality too much to bear. He watches as his only love is devoured. He's lost the will to live. Our friend is unfortunate as he witnesses his inevitable demise.